we had a tough start. <clears throat> I thought we responded very well um, and, uh, you know, made the adjustment we needed to make for what their game required in terms of the, in terms of the physical level. Um, but, you know, uh, it's difficult to win against a team like this, you know, when you react. And so, uh, you know, this is high level playoff caliber basketball, you know, in the middle of March. And this is a, uh, it's a great challenge uh, for us. And so, um, we'll look at the film, uh, we'll study it, we'll make some adjustments <clears throat> and, you know, Wednesday, we're going to have to do things better. Tim McMahon. Rick, when you look at the box score, you see only five free throws attempted for your team. Uh, what do you think of that? How do you explain that? Well, the whistle wasn't blowing much. Uh, there were only five attempted the entire first half. And I think one of them was, was from us. Um, you know, I think it might depend on who you ask. <laughs> you know, if you ask, if you ask, you know, certain guys that were playing in the game, they, they, they give you a pretty strong opinion on it, but that's not what this is about. I mean, <clears throat> to win at this level of basketball, um, you know, you, you've got to have great spacing. You know, you've got to be moving the ball. Um, you got to do all the things right from an X and O standpoint, but you got to have, <clears throat> you know, ama amazing both poise and aggression. And uh, I thought we had it, um, you know, after our tough start and then particularly in the second quarter and, you know, parts of the fourth quarter. Um, but the first and third got us, you know, giving up 31 and then uh, giving up 30 and, and, and having, to de having to walk away with a two-point deficit at the end of the third was tough. So, um, you know, the, the whistle isn't going to be exact every night. And so, you know, we've just got to have a consistent approach and understand that there's going to be um, some decisions that, that are, you know, you're going to disagree with. As a, as a player, as a coach, um, to try to, you know, try to just move on to the next play, keep a next play mentality, and, and, and we just constantly got to give each other energy. Brad Townsend? Yeah, uh, speaking of uh, uh, decisions or calls that are made, uh, what was the explanation given to you on the continuation uh, at the end of the third quarter uh, on Lucas' shot? Yeah, it was uh, – that was my mistake. Um, I was absolutely sure that he got fouled in the act of shooting a three-point shot and that he should should have been going to the line for a four-point play. Um, it turned out it was a play that could not be challenged, you know, based, based on that premise. Um, and so that was just an error on my part. Um, we retained the ball and, and we did uh, – we did score, you know, and it, it turned out it may have been, it may have been moot, you know, because the timeout thing really didn't come into play. We lost the timeout on that play, but that was, um, that was my mistake. And that's a, that's a learning situation. Uh, Tim Cato. Hey Rick, you guys didn't score in the, in the final three minutes of the game. Is, is there anything you, you saw immediately without a poor game film that, that you can identify as the reason to that? No, I, you know, I remember some of the plays, but um, yeah, I can't give you a, a good analysis of that. Uh, that's something that we'll look at. Um, and we certainly got to get better with it. You know, it's, we, we had some, we had some untimely turnovers throughout the game, you know, 14 for 15 points is, is a lot for us. You know, they only had nine for nine points. Uh, you know, there's a six point difference right there. And then now you're looking at a four point game and, you know, we got to do some other things better as well. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll look at it and, 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 and we'll clean it up as best we can.